Greetings and good day. This is Christopher Fries here again with Fries Forge, and today we need to get some springs out. This is a McPherson strut. We run a lot of vehicles, and the steel here is what we're after, of course. Spring steel, 5160 if I'm not mistaken. Great steel, and we want it. But we've got a problem. This thing has a lot of stored energy. The spring is very much compressed. You can see there's a little nut on the inside there that you can use to get that off. If you put this down, stand over it with a wrench, and unscrew this thing, that compressed spring is going to decompress and send that shooting up at, well, what might very well be your face. Now there are a few different ways you can do this. The proper way uses a series of clamps and, and that works just fine. You have an oxyacetylene torch. This little guy is no problem at all. I'm just gonna use a torch, cut, 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 and that will give me plenty of spring to do with as I choose. So let's get going. Well, here's my current pile. I love the smell of acetylene. There we go. And we're loose. Now how easy was that? You can now pop off your nut without any danger to yourself. We have released the built up pressure in a controlled and safe fashion. You saw how easy that was. Now for the next method. This will be a fun one. I haven't done this yet. This looks interesting. Let's try. Alrighty. I always like to try something new for the first time. Let's give it a shot. So, there we go. Two different ways to get those springs off, get at that yummy, yummy steel inside without killing yourself. That's the important part. Uh, there are some horrible ideas that I've, that I've heard of people uh, asking about this. And one of them was an angle grinder. Don't use an angle grinder. Please, for the love of God, don't use an angle grinder. You'll probably kill yourself. You're gonna have that spinning disc that it'll get stuck in between the tin and it'll, it'll, it'll crush it and it'll blow up and, and you'll die. Don't do it. Don't do it unless you want to be picking grinder bits out of your guts for the next 10 years. Uh, another thing not to do, don't put a wrench on it. A hand wrench is not the same as an impact gun. I know I showed you the impact gun and it worked beautifully. Other than that, that's all I got for you today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something from this video today. Uh, this would be my first actual uh, how-to video as opposed to how to not. Uh, so, yay! <laughs> uh, it's only because I used to be a mechanic. I know about all this shit anyway. Uh, a big shout out to Adam. Thank you, and Jeff. Thank you for the uh, for the struts and the steel to be able to do this. It's awesome. Uh, thank you guys so much. Anyway, that's all for me today. May the force serve you well.